Hey everybody, Dan Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Dangerous Relationship. We are on Rohe Shindo's route on Chapter 4, No One Else But You. Let's see if we can make any progress here. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. My draft folder on my phone was overflowing with saved but unsent messages to Rohe. You fool! Today, yet another one joined that list, saying, See you tomorrow. I'd finally get to, or rather, have to see him tomorrow. Feeling so anxious and worried at the same time, I failed to get even a wink of sleep. The next day, I stood before their door with new voice on the plate and sighed. The moment I went to knock on the door, it suddenly swung open on me. Ow, my nose! Whoa, sorry, are you okay? Rohe came barging out from the other side of the door. After noticing who it was, he stared at me with his eyes wide open. Dorilly. It's been a while. I managed to get out those first few words, but but I couldn't without looking away. Y yeah. <sighs> um. Hey, Rohe, don't just stand there, hurry up. From down the hall, the manager's voice bellowed at him. Uh, okay, bye. You guys need a nicer manager. He ran down the hall, leaving me standing there stunned and all alone. As I watched him, he ran away. He turned his head and looked back at me. He knew I had been watching him the whole time. Really? A voice called out to me from inside the room since the door was hanging open. Come on in already. Hey, it's Dorilly. Both Subaru and Takuya greeted me as I came in, but Subaru stood up to leave. Sorry, I wanted to talk to you, but work comes first. Oh, I've got to get going. Okay, take care. Good luck. Subaru walked out leaving me some ambiguous words of motivation. So, you're the substitute stylist. How great is that? Takuya seemed happier than ever to be alone in a room with me. Just keep your distance, buddy. Where are the other members? You're just my stylist for today. I am? What? Are you sad it's me and not your dohei? A little. He's with someone else today. Too bad, eh? Oh, not that it matters to me. You're still saying that. I saw you two lovebirds at the CD shop. <sighs> He's such a blockhead. He'll never say he likes you straight up. Oh, I could though. Easily. Takuya glided towards me, smoothly bringing his face very close. Watch it, buddy. Click. I forgot something. Without as much as a knock, Subaru came flying back in the room. Come on, Subaru. You're supposed to knock before you come in. You watch yourself. This guy is the complete opposite of Rohe. Opposite? He'll say he loves you even if he doesn't. You're so kind, Subaru. Have I ever told you that? Trust the guy who loves you, even if you can't say it, okay? His sudden intrusion and advice left me feeling a bit confused. Subaru quickly swooped out the door as soon as he came. I think he really came back to tell me that and warn me. Takuya was quiet for a moment, as if thinking about something. For a while, the only sound in the dressing room was that of the TV. Today, we have Ruhei Shindo from New Voice joining us. Hello, it's nice of you to have me. Ruhei... I found my eyes suddenly glued to the TV set. Huh, well that's the nail in the coffin for me. Well, so you're giving up now, huh? Takuya chuckled with a bit of heartbreak in his voice. Speaking of Ruhei, he should be done with his interview soon. Huh? He's pretty tired, so I bet he'll sleep all the way until his next job. You never know where you'll find him sleeping. Takuya dropped his tidbits of information about Ryohei to me with a heavy wink. Oh, I hate to say it, but I'll cheer for you. <sighs> yeah, that was an awfully ambiguous clue. I mean, if you could be sleeping anywhere, that doesn't really help. But oh, that's not why you came today, is it? You're here to be my stylist. Yeah. Well, let's get started then. Can you get my wardrobe from storage? Sure. On my way to storage, I peeked in every room and studio to see if I could find Rohe. I'm keeping a close eye on Rohe, but it wouldn't be so bad if you just let him do what he wants. My ear perked up when I heard someone mention Rohe from around the corner. I will... Listen, and hope that they don't find me eavesdropping. Hmm. Standing in the shadows, I tried to hear what the manager and Kaoru were talking about. He's been acting strange because living like this is stressful for him. 
That's no reason for me to let him go running off with some girl. He has feelings you're making us suppress, and it's not helping him. That's why we have to be more careful than ever if a scandal broke out because of him. Why don't you just let him run free like Takuya? That's not fitting for his character. It would tarnish his image. He doesn't need love right now. Love is absurd. I had work to do. As much as I wanted to hear more, I felt bad listening in on this. I kept walking and headed to storage to pick up Takuya's outfit. Something as simple as love seemed to be a whole different game with stars. With a sigh, I swung open the storage door and went inside. I flicked the light switch on with a click. Oh, I bet Ruhei's sleeping in here. Huh? Nothing happened, so I fiddled with the switch, but that didn't help either. The lights must be broken or something. I had no other option than to stumble around in the dark storage room to find it. He needs his red jacket and bowler hat. Fumbling around in the dark, my foot suddenly bumped into something. It was hard to see, so didn't notice it at first. Crouching down for a better view, I saw what I had bumped into, someone's foot. Huh? I turned my head and followed it up. And there was the rest of Ryohei. Ryohei? I leaned forward to peek closely at his face. <laughs> Why is he smiling? Is he smiling in his sleep? The soft breathing of slumber escaped his lips. I was so relieved to know he was sleeping and not on the floor because he was hurt. As he curled up in a ball on the cold floor, I stared at his face. Couldn't he at least find a couch somewhere? He looked so cute. I couldn't resist poking his innocent face with my finger. His cheeks seemed so cold to the touch. If he slept in a place like this, he might catch a cold. Just then, his eyelids twitched and his eyelashes fluttered. Hmm. Huh? Had I woken him up? He mumbled a few sounds to himself before falling back asleep. Watching him sleeping there made my chest feel tight. I really did love him. Admitting that simple truth to myself, my lips were drawn closer to his. Bad idea! But this man was so famous, everything warned me to stay away. Subaru and Yukie were hoping it worked out, but all my hopes were bent by the manager. My indecisive feelings and heart quivered inside me. Mm. Just then, Rohei let out a deep and painful groaning sound. Perhaps he was having a bad dream. I touched his sleeping face and gently put my palm on his cheeks. Drawn in by his lips, I placed mine on his before I knew what I was doing. Mm. And at that moment, clang, a sound from the entrance startled me. Frightened by the sound of the door, I jumped up to see if someone was coming. However, there was no sign of anyone in sight. That probably means someone saw what you did and ran out and made a noise on the way out. Hmm? Curious, I went to the door to see what happened, but the door was locked shut. Oh, great. Ah! Uh, for whatever reason, it was locked from the outside. With no way to open it, I hurried back to where Ryohei was sleeping. Wait, does that mean that Subaru locked us in here? Or maybe even Takuya? Still, he was sleeping so soundly, I would have felt bad to wake him up. I had to do something. I will... Wait! There was nothing we could do but wait, but just as I was thinking that, my phone rang. Eh, not to wake him up, probably. Figuring I could ask whoever it was for help, I reached out to grab my phone. Then, out of the darkness, a hand reached out and stopped me. Mah! Don't. Ryohei, who had apparently woken up, snatched the phone from my hands. Ryohei! He sluggishly sat up and looked at me with drowsy eyes. What do you need a phone for? Obvious reasons. The door is locked, so I was going to call someone for help. Help why? Huh? We're finally alone in here. What do you need help for? Well, I kind of got to do my job. He spelled it out for me in a way that made perfect sense. When he showed me a charming smell just for me, my heart raced all on its own. You haven't responded to any of my messages. I thought you hated me. But then you came to the handshake event, so that really left me confused. My friend invited me to come. Even so, I was glad to see you there. Huh? I finally got to see you again. The thumping inside my chest became louder and louder. I wasn't sure what to do or say anymore. I liked him, but he was a friend. He was someone too famous for me to date. I think I like you. Alright, really, you're out of the friend zone, come on. Uh. With a bright red face, 
He looked into my eyes. As a friend, right? Oh, God. When I'm alone with you, I feel funny inside. You do? It's like something is squeezing my heart. His face cringed as if in unbearable pain. It hurts. I sit and wait for your reply, and when it never does, I worry. I keep checking it over and over, wondering why you won't write back. Just as I had written dozens of drafts and worried, he had worried the same way. When I thought about all the needless pain we'd suffered together, it pinched my heart. You should just show him all those, those unsent responses. Make him feel better. Are these normal feelings for friends to have? I, I don't know, but... I slowly breathed in and out, trying my best to settle my restless heart. We can only be friends. It wasn't right for us to be more than that, so I lied to him. I know. He mumbled quietly with a regretful voice. As long as we both understand that. I spoke quickly to conceal my pain, but he suddenly cut me off. I finally know what made you cry now. He was talking about the day at the cafe, where I cried when he said we were friends. You felt the way I do now. Huh? Hearing you're only friends from someone you like really hurts. I see why now. You cried then. You were sad because you liked me. N no that has nothing to do with it. Then, why did you kiss me just now? Ha ha! He caught you. Uh. When I found out he had been awake the whole time, my body erupted with heat. I was so happy when you did that. My heart was racing so fast. I wanted to open my eyes and say that I liked you too. But I couldn't. You've been avoiding me after all. If I opened my eyes, I knew for sure you'd run away from me again. I didn't want to let that happen. Not when we're finally alone. If you say you don't like me, I won't know what to think anymore. N no you're wrong. I am? Even when your face is that red? He inched closer to me. As he stared at me from inches away, I felt my face growing warmer and warmer. Close your eyes. I did as he asked and waited. I wanted to do this to you for so long. His words were quickly followed by a soft sensation on my lips. His blushing face stared back at me when I opened my eyes. It's not, I think I like you anymore. I know I like you. Don't you feel the same? Uh, huh? It wasn't until after noticing his surprised reaction that I felt my tears. W why are you crying? Uh, I'm so happy. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you cry again. Through the blurry veil of tears, I could make out his panicked expression. No, I'm happy. These are happy tears. My tears had spoken for me when my voice had failed to. Happy tears? I worried just like you. I wrote so many messages that I never sent. I thought about you so much that it hurt. But you're a star, an idol. You're someone I can't fall in love with. He helped me wipe the tears off my face with a smile. You're free to love whoever you want. <sighs> so love me as much as you can. He looked in my eyes with a serious face and kissed me. Mm. Don't worry, I'll take good care of you. His lips pulled back into a wonderful smile. How are you going to deal with that manager of yours, though? So please, go out with me. Nod quietly. I nodded with all of my heart. Good. He put his arms around me and drew me close. This is all new to me, though. I can't promise I won't ever make you cry. I might not even know if you're crying because you're happy or sad. So I need you to tell me what you're feeling so I can understand. He leaned back from me and stared into my eyes. What are these tears again? With his thumb, he swiped away the tears off my cheek. Happy tears. I might even cry too. He kissed me with a face on the verge of tears. Mmm. At first, the kiss was soft and light but it quickly became passionate and wild. Really? Something slick and warm slid into my mouth, wrapping around my tongue. What should I do? I don't think I can stop. His troubled eyes peered deeply into mine. Seeing it in front of me sent a tremor through my heart as I reached for his face. Can I keep going? Yeah. His hand caressed my cheek and slid back to my neck. 
It was closely followed by his lips that pecked along my nape. I slid back onto the ground, and Ryohe crawled on top of me. Uh, we're moving a little fast here again. Why? Why do so many stories have to be like, let's go out, okay, let's have sex. And isn't he like a virgin, I'm guessing now? By all means, from all the stuff they've said, it sounds like... So why is he just jumping straight to that? Tell me if it hurts. Ryohei said sheepishly with a blushing face. When I nodded, he placed his hand on top of my clothes. His hands moved and pushed in and out, massaging my chest. Ah. Uh, sorry, did that hurt? No, I'm all yours. Do whatever you want to me. Whatever I want? His lips closed around mine, and his tongue slipped into my mouth. I wrapped around my own so much, it made it hard to breathe. Mm. Our kiss broke off, and his lips dotted kisses down my body. Ryohei. Hearing the faint panting of his breath made my insides heat up. I stroked his hair as his lips graced my bosom. You okay? Yeah. His fingers slid down my body and worked their way in. My body shivered as they went deeper and deeper inside me. Ryohei, this is embarrassing. It is? You want me to stop? The moment I heard his words, I regretted ever opening my mouth. Sorry, it's okay. If you don't want me to. No, it feels good. I want... Before I could finish, he wiggled his fingers making my entire body jolt. Uh, Ryohei... As he teased my body with his finger, it felt like everything inside me was melting. Really, I want you. Staring up at me with his hungry eyes, I could only nod yes. Sorry, are you good now? He stroked his hand gently along my back, over my shirt. Very good. I muttered quietly to myself between breaths. Hmm? He moved back and looked at me curiously. N nothing If you don't tell me, I'm going to worry about it. Ruhe pressured me to say everything on my mind. It felt good. So good I wanted... I wanted to feel you more and more. Good. That's how I felt too. He said with a relieved smile. Ducking my head down, I tried to cover my blushing face. You're so cute. He turned his face and found my lips. I love you dearly. You're everything to me. Me too. You think that way too? Yeah, you're everything to me, and more, much more than you know. Man, there are so many lines in this that are like from old 80s songs. So most of you listening out there are probably too young to know them. <laughs> then you're much, much more to me. Then you're much, much, much more. <laughs> this will never end. His face was so brilliant, it felt like I had been blindsided. It made my heart pound furiously, and my mind go numb with delight. Was it really okay for me to be with someone this amazing? If you're ever worried about anything, you can talk to me about it. He said, as if seeing right into my thoughts. How long did you know I was worried about something? Just a minute ago, he was saying he wouldn't understand me unless I told him. I wonder, maybe because we became one. <laughs> Ruduhe admitted as if it were nothing, making my entire face glow red. Look at you blushing. It's so cute. A dazzling smile broke across his face as his arms held me tight. I think it was Takuya who, do who locked us in that room, because he's the, one, he's the one who sent me to get the wardrobe, so he knew where I was going, and he probably had Ryohei sleep in there, and locked me in there once we were together. That's my speculation, I wonder if I'll we'll ever find out. Alright, well, next chapter will be The Jealous Idol. Hope to see you there or in one of my other videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or share it with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Dearly really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.